Hey guys, it has been a long time since we filmed a video, like eight, nine, ten weeks, I don't know. It's, it's been, been a while. long time, long as we've ever gone. It's crazy to think of this year, this time last year, today's June 14th, we had 14 videos up in the last 14 days. Mm -hmm. That was a good month last year. But it looks like this month is even better. Yeah, you guys already knew that I was pregnant in the one video. Yup. So and... let us show you our newest family member. Adasa Harmony. There she is. She's sleeping. It's time to feed her, though, Sarah. You're gonna have to. You're, I think it is. It's it's been almost two hours. She can always eat. I always hate waking her up. Yeah, it's because you're a mama. She needs her food, though. Baby girl. Oh, did you wake up from a nap? You gotta eat too. Oh. See, this is what she's gonna do. We're sorry. We don't like waking you up. I'm gonna feed you though, and you're gonna be happy. So, we're gonna go feed her so she can be happy again. Mm, she's so sweet, isn't she? She's the best. Alright, it's the next day. She's having a little trouble la uh, breastfeeding now. Look, you're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Look at how big and blue her eyes are, guys. And then she, this, I think this is her first time outside with her eyes open. She's only five days old? Mm hmm Exactly five days old at this time. It's Friday now. Is she looking at the sky? Look at it. Look at how big that ceiling is up there. It's so much bigger than the one inside. You hear the bird? She's looking towards the bird. Look at how huge the sky is, Hadassah. And the birds are out, and it's green out here. It's not so green inside. My baby's got a little bit of guys. Yeah. You gonna feed for mommy? Oh no! What's wrong? Are you getting hungry? Yeah. Well, well, guys, she's having a little bit of trouble um, breastfeeding the last 24 hours. Our lactation consultant is coming over any minute. We're hoping she can help us out. She's having a lot of trouble breastfeeding, and it's it's tough, isn't it, Sarah? It's tough because it's all on me. It is. You know that sound? That's an airplane. Oh, she's so cute, though. You know, you may be tough, and it may be hard to breastfeed you, but you're awfully darn cute. Mm. Eyes aren't open very often. She's sleeping or crying. Check up we're going Wah. yeah we're really hoping to get this breastfeeding issue solved this she was doing so good it, she's just so fussy and cranky when she's breastfeeding that she doesn't stay on the nipple and she doesn't suck it's really hard isn't it mom mm -hmm. it's making mom a little sad her eyes are so blue just like her mom everyone either says she looks a lot like me or she they see Jake in her yeah I guess that's debatable, huh? My mom says she sees Jake and her. Yeah, so comment down below. Who does she oh, look more like? Is your dad around? Oh, he's probably not Oh, around. I think he's inside. He's had a long day. Uh, we gotta find that picture of you. She likes it out here. Look at how calm she is. Should feed her out here. Yeah, except it's a little muggy and mosquito-y out here and buggy. She's gonna be a vegan like her mama. Eat veggies, not Oh, you want, you want mama's boopies? Is she latching? I don't know. It's hard to tell, isn't it? It's your first time breastfeeding standing up. So yeah, I think we mentioned earlier in this video, we did a home birth. It was actually a really good experience. I really liked that within, after giving birth, we got to sleep on our own bed just mm -hmm. four hours later. Yeah. Uh, Sarah wasn't on any pain meds or anything. It was kind of inf inspired by Ellen Fisher, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good experience though, actually. Oh, it's wonderful. Just, the, the midwives were very helpful. They came, they helped us clean up. Uh, they were just, it's a good experience. You felt the true pain of childbirth. I did. Though. She had no drugs or painkillers or anything. It was, it was, it was the whole deal. Yeah, so. Um, a lot of people prior, can't believe I did it. Yeah, so what, what, what has inspired you to do home birth? Obviously, I was on board with it. Well, we watched that video, The Business of Being Born, and that really was an eye opener. That was our first ever exposure, I'd say, to home birth. I had never heard of it. Yeah. 
but um I just talked about I can link that video maybe talked about like the epidurals and just all the interferences they run at hospitals and they pressure you to do things they're on all these medications it's kind of a stressful environment for the mom too yeah it's stressful for because, the mom stressful because you're not in the comfort baby. of your own home you're more comforted because you're in the comfort of your home and then statistically too no matter how sanitary a hospital tries to be it's not going to be clean and as germ-free as your home because a ho let's face it a hospital is for si dying and sick people mm -hmm. and two you're just you're more relaxed you're more at ease because what do we associate with hospitals death and sickness you don't associate home as death and sickness you associate it as comfort and that same thing for the germs and the um, infections and stuff no matter how hard they try there's just dying sick people there they can only do so much I know they do the best they can to keep things sanitary those are two really good benefits is that you're you're more likely you're less likely to be stressed being at home and you decrease your chances of infection um, my mom she was there for the birth she said wow I can't believe she's not crying and then the doulas like most home babies don't cry when they're born so it could be maybe that they're you know a less stress-free environment they know who mama is they're not put on extra drugs and whatnot because I mean you know the painkillers are for mom of course that's going to go to the baby and give the mm -hmm. baby side effects that's obvious we all know that an epidural also puts um your your labor longer puts the baby in distress so they have to give her medication to calm her down it's like one side effect so it creates another side effect and on yeah. and on and on. i'm really glad she was born in the summer because we've just been cooped up in the house all day every day it's too hard to bring her anywhere right now mm -hmm. breastfeeding takes forever and she doesn't sleep long you gotta wake her up you gotta breastfeed her so often but we're able to take little walks with her and hold her in our arms it's summer right now it's not something we want to do in the middle of january with it snowing and blizzard and zero degrees so she really likes it out here too she does she's more calm she is she's at ease is she is she latching really good right now mm -hmm. and sucking huh I don't know guys, maybe there's something to outdoor therapy. This is like the best she's latched in a while. And Some fresh air. Maybe we just gotta do this more often out here. I don't know, like she was really fussy a little bit ago inside, but we just brought her out here before we started the camera and she's she's looking around, she hears the birds, she's seeing how high the sky is, because you know you only see eight feet in the air when you're indoors. This, this is like her fourth time outside maybe. But I think this is our oh, first time awake out here. Yeah. Like when it was daytime and sunny, we put the blank, we put a small sheet over her. We don't want her to go blind or. She's only five days old. She doesn't need sun exposure like no. us. I need it. Sarah needs it, but the baby don't need it. She's a good vitamin D from breast milk. Oh, I just, I just can't believe how easy she is. Like, I don't know. I've. I've always, I think I've mentioned this before on this, on this channel before, a long time ago, long videos ago, maybe last year, last summer, just how healing nature is, just, I don't know. And it's, apparently it's working on the baby. She's doing just good. This is, uh, this is good. Wait. I don't know. I like this. I'd have to do this more out here. Sorry about all the airplanes that go... We got Midway. Uh, this is a line of traffic where the planes go to Midway. Oh. I think we'll show more uh, Hadassah. We'll do a What I Eat in a Day as a breastfeeding vegan mother. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, she's only five days old. We could still use advice as parents. Yeah, there's a lot. Really there's a lot. We don't know struggling. a lot. If you've been a parent or have several kids, definitely give advice down below. We're still learning a lot. I mean, we barely knew how to burp her the first day or two, so. I didn't know we had to burp her. You didn't even know we had to burp her. So see, so many things you don't know. You know, you, you just don't know what you haven't been told, right? And you don't, and sometimes you don't know things because you don't know what to research because you don't know it. How yeah. would you know how to research burping the baby to get the gas out of them when you don't even know about it? I've never had a baby. Never had a baby. You don't know to research it, so. Definitely, if you have some words of wisdom, comment down below and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video, I think. Where mm -hmm. she is doing awesome. I'm so happy. Even during this six minute clip here, she's doing so much better. So, all right. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Say Hadassah. bye Hadassah.